Thank you, Kitty, for inviting me. I'm not from your usual department, but I actually do things that are very similar to what you all do. Um, my question is, can we use terrestrial biogeography to inform the placement of marine protected areas? So marine conservationists really struggle with the placement of marine protected areas because we don't understand how marine organisms interact with their environment. We don't understand their biogeography. Biogeography is the distribution of species and ecosystems in geographic space and through geologic time. So, how do these organisms respond to their environment and where are the um, most species found in an area? So, we pretty much understand terrestrial biogeography pretty well. We know where to find um, the highest species diversity. But, nearshore marine biogeography is pretty much a mystery. We know that broadcast spawning and larval stages is great but we don't find organisms that have a cosmopolitan distribution. So a big question in biogeography is when a major geologic event occurs, do all organisms respond in the same way? I'm interested in asking this question across ecosystems and across uh, land masses. So basically I want to take a terrestrial um, coastal organism and look at its um, genetic structure to figure out its relationship to other animals. And I also want to take a, a nearshore marine organism, and I want to replicate these and look for congruence between the data sets. So to look for congruence, we want to test two different ideas. The overlap of spatial diversity, so where are the most species found? Is it the same area in both data sets? And is there simultaneous divergence of lineages, which means they will be responding to the same event? So luckily, there are two great programs for this. We have Biodiverse, which will look at a phylogenetic tree and tell you where these unique haplotypes are found in relation to the map. And we also have MS Phase, which is, um, allows us to test for simultaneous divergence while allowing also for a degree of variability because we know that populations of different species aren't going to be exactly the same. So this will allow us to decide if we can use terrestrial biogeography to inform the placement of marine protected areas if we want to protect the most species as possible. So our idea is if we can decide if this side of Oahu it happens to be a really high diversity for terrestrial, maybe it's also very high diversity for the um, marine area also. 